This is the Kindy Rock Stars Podcast, Season 5. Bringing you incredibly talented singers, artists, creators, and producers in the genre of children's music. I'm your host, Patrick Adams. Each episode will feature songs, albums, videos, or live performances, along with great stories from the artists themselves. Kindy Rockstar Season 5 is proud to be supported and sponsored by Waltmania Public Relations, serving the family entertainment community for more than 20 years. And now, on with the show. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Kindy Rockstars, and I am delighted to have back on the show Chris Kitko, better known as Kitty Co. Welcome back. Thank you for having me. Great to see you. It's been a year, I think. I think so. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think you were back. You were on season four with uh, a couple of videos then, and uh, we are doing a music video feature today for a couple of great singles. Um, but before we get into those, what have you been up to since the last time we talked? Um, well, still plugging along. I decided like a year and a half ago, about a year ago, actually, to I run a music a lesson studio and I perform locally, but I decided, let's see what happens if I try to fill the internet with Kitty Co music and <laughs> you know, take it from there. So, wow, it's been quite a journey. And it's such as you all know, such a learning, a long process, you know, but I'm loving every minute of it. And I signed up with, um, you know, Tina and Mark Harris, they have that tube, yeah. uh, TCA tube creators. What is it now? Anyway, um, Academy. And so I'm learning so much, especially learning that I didn't know that I didn't know kind of, you know, you don't know what you don't right. know sort of thing. So it's, it's been quite a process and I'm just loving it. So I'm doing a lot more videos, a lot more work on the videos um, paying more attention to the technical stuff, which I never <clears throat> really paid attention to before. And I'm just doing a lot of performing in the area. Yeah, I'm I'm with you on the videos. I think I, I try to do a video for every song I put out just because I think having the visual to go along with the song just mm-hmm. creates a synergy that somebody might discover the video first and decide, right. I really like the song. Let me go add it to a playlist or something like that. And then yeah. vice versa. They might really like a song. I wonder if this has a video. So right, yeah, totally with you on that one. Yeah. And, you know, I just live in a little house. So there's that whole, <clears throat> where's the green screen going to go and the tripod and what does that do, you know, on the phone and, and all that. So it's, it's really, it's Tube Creatives Academy is what it's called. So um, I've learned so much in doing that, but you know, it's, it's, it's a process, you know how it is. It's. Yep. Well, your entire so, room there looks like a green screen, potentially. <laughs> it, and that's kind of how it started. I had a roommate who, when I was gone, decided to paint this room green years and years and years ago. And during COVID, when we had nothing to do, I got wild and cut my hair and decided, let's make a kid's video after cutting my hair. And so I just stood in front of this wall and realized, wait a minute, it's green. So then ended up making a really bad green screen video out of it, which ended up being one of my best performing videos, which is really strange. But yeah, it, my interest in green screen started accidentally through this strange little green room here. Yeah. And, and technology is getting so much better with just, you know, even if you don't have a green screen, just shooting a video that doesn't have a lot of distracting elements in the background that you can simply remove the background and create, you know, you performing in a transparent way and then you can drop that into what do you use for that so i use canva um okay canva has a background remover and so for my first few videos for my newest album i've really been trying to use that to Mm -hmm. you know perform a little more in the video but then put it into these you know really fun backdrops yeah Um, it's been hit or miss and, and i've discovered yeah i have as little distraction in the background that the uh that it can pick mm-hmm. up um and then uh but it's a, it's a learning process and, and getting yeah. better at it yeah i don't know what we did before canva because it's, it's, it's my best it, friend i know it's amazing <laughs> 11 p.m looking at Canva. what's on canva today you know there's so many new graphics and this and that and they're always adding some cool features so yeah love canva yep 
Absolutely. All right. Well, let's talk about your music videos. Um, so the first one we'll talk about is called Cycle Song. And this is a really fun song. It's it's about a minute and a half, but you cover a lot of ground with the cycles. So talk a little bit about the song and video. Well, you know how when you write a song, you're a songwriter, you can have like office hours, kind of like you decide I'm going to write a song today. And you sit down with your paper and your guitar and you write a song and all that. And it's very controlled. And then other times it happens in the car and whatever. And this is one of those, I hate to say it, but it happened in the shower. I don't know just una una unicycle and then i just thought let's go for it and then i didn't know how many wheels where should i stop unicycle bicycle tricycle is there a quadricycle you know like how far do you go so i just as far as kids are concerned though all i can think of is tricycle so i just went with that and i was uploading the um caption file to to youtube you know how you can do the video and the caption file and i looked at the words like the transcript and it's so odd how a song can be just a handful of words and you can make it into this you know one two three minute long song so it's sort of a teaching song i have a elementary ed license and my background is teaching so that's what i want to use it for is kids learning the different kinds of bikes well, it does a great job. And I think once you get into four wheels and beyond, you're into cars, <laughs> right? Uh, exactly. Uh, ATVs and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Do we want to go there? <laughs> Giant trucks. Yeah. You could always do a part two if, if the inspiration hits you. Right. But... <laughs> yeah. And I posted it on Facebook and some friends were, somebody said something like that. Um, they wanted it to keep going, but I, that sounds more like a an adult humorous parody or something. <laughs> yeah. You're, <laughs> you're, should be you're starting to. You're starting to stretch a little bit into yeah. <laughs> uh, non-kids realm, but yeah. So, all right, well, let's check this video out. If you're watching here on YouTube, if you're listening on the podcast, enjoy the song. Here it is, "Cycle Song" by Kitty Go. A unicycle is a kind of cycle, and it has only one wheel. Gonna ride a una 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 unicycle. Gonna ride a una una. Bye 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 bicycle. Gonna ride a bye 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 bicycle. Ride a bye 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 bicycle. Ride a bye 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 bicycle. A tricycle is a cycle and it has only three wheels. Gonna ride a try 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 tricycle. And that was the video for a cycle song or the song if you're listening on the podcast. Uh, next video we're going to talk about is called I Know My Body. Talk about this one. Uh, I think this one came from the gigs that I do, like I'll perform for little kids and, you know, kids like body songs. And um, that's another one we were talking about, like, where does it end? <laughs> so, you know, you know where your head is and all that. And when I perform this, there's always that one kid, you know, like I'll say, where are your knees or what else can you think of? And there were just the other day, this is pancreas. <laughs> okay. What do we do with that? So anyway, I, I kind of combined the kids suggestions of the things they always want to sing about and just made a song for the gigs and decided this would be a fun one to make a green screen video for. I'd never made like a full body one. And I had just gotten my second green screen from Amazon. I thought I'll just spread it out all over the living room and see what happens. So I was just having some fun with a gig song, a performance song. Yeah, you know, this sounds like the material on this one could be endless or it could be different every time yeah. you sing it live. It's Yeah, especially if there's a doctor's child in the audience, there will be like appendix <laughs> or what was some, oh, there was a chiropractor's kid and they're like C3 or whatever, like it's some kind of joint in the neck. 
or yeah, something. The, I don't the know. Yeah. Child knows, but <laughs> so I kind of I think I stuck with the main ones on this song. But that's that's the story behind the song. Just sort of a fun jump around song. Point to your whatever you're pointing to. Very good. All right, we're gonna check the video out now. Here it is. I know my body by Kitty Ko, and enjoy the song as well. And that was the video and the song for I Know My Body. All right, Kitty Co., assuming that these songs are available everywhere you stream, purchase, and download music, let everybody know how can they find and connect with you, find your YouTube channel, your website, or any other way they can get in touch with you. Well, let's see. YouTube would be Kitty Co. Music, K-I-T-T-Y-K-O. Everyone wants to put a C in there. I'm not sure why, but it's Kitty Co. with a K. <laughs> and Spotify is Kitty Co., um, there's some anime, there's some anime stuff out there with Kitty Co. also, but I'm not affiliated with the anime. It's just children's music. If you see another Kitty Co. And let's see, kittyco.com, K-I-T-T-Y-K-O.com. And, you know, Instagram, Facebook, all those things. I love it when people connect. I won't spam people, but, um, say hi or sign up for the newsletter and I'll send any kind of new video. I try to do at least one YouTube video Per month. I'm trying to get to two, but as you know, that's a lot. And I don't want to just crank out something just to have something. So I'm trying to do quality content. So come say hi on the socials. Very cool. And just as a as a final aside, um, you are located in North Dakota. I am it, smack dab in the middle, Bismarck, well, South Central. <laughs> where it is almost as hot as it is here in Las Vegas. <laughs> so a truly rare occurrence going on. It here. is. It is. Yeah. We're all coming together now in the heat. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show again. And thank you for sharing these videos with us. And thank I look you, Patrick. forward to talking to you again soon. Thanks again. All right. Take care. You too.